Practice makes perfect. And why would you try to fix a kayak without ever having practice on anything else? Here's how to do that this week on Kayak Hack. I don't know about you, but my kayak costs a lot more than I really wanted to spend on it. So now that I've got some oyster cracks and cuts and my stern and bow have been worn down a little bit, I know I need to do some plastic welding to build those back up and smooth out the bottom of the hull again. But I'm not about to go try it for the first time on my kayak. Instead, I'm going to practice on a surrogate. So what I've got here is a five gallon bucket and surprisingly these are made out of the exact same material as my native kayak HDPE. The way you can tell that is to look at the recycle symbol and it'll say 2 with HDPE below it. So using a five gallon bucket is a great surrogate for my kayak. So the next question is, where do you get the material to weld with? My KC welder came with a, a bunch of these HDPE welding sticks. This is HDPE material. You can also buy additional sticks. I got these from Amazon. These are a little bit smaller. I should have gotten the next size up. But, and when you're buying these, you need to be sure that you're getting HDPE because these welding rods come for PVC and other types of plastics as well. But if you don't want to buy these, milk cartons, these plastic milk jugs, they're made out of HDPE and they have the two in the triangle on the bottom. In addition, there are a number of other containers and note that it also is HDPE and I can cut this up and use that for patches and things like that uh, on my kayak. So let's get into to doing two scenarios here. The first is we've got a crack that goes all the way through the kayak and the second is we've got scrapes and scrapes from uh, the oysters and rocks and, and other things that we tend to run our kayaks over. And I'll show you how easy it is to do this and how you can improve your skill set before you go for record on your kayak. And I've cut a crack in it, you can see right here, that goes all the way through. Now the first step in repairing this is to drill a hole at either end of the crack. Drilling the hole keeps the crack from running farther. Now the one thing I can't do is just put the material right over the top of this because that will not fill in and fill in the crack. What I've got to do is actually dig out some of the HCPE here by cutting a V groove using my KC welder. Then I can take the new material and put it in on top and fill it in. Now while I can't do it on this bucket because it's all trashed on the inside, uh, you also need to do the same thing on the inside because the crack in this case goes all the way through. So I've got my welder here, here, and now I'm just going to run it down and cut out a V so I've got room for the new HDPE to be put in here. The next thing we want to rehearse fixing is scrapes like you'd get going over oysters. You can see that I can't move this putty knife down across the surface of this five gallon bu bucket without hitting a lot of resistance. But I don't need to use the welding tool to fill in this. Instead I just need to melt the plastic enough to be able to smooth it over and fill in the cracks. So 
So I've got a Harbor Freight heat gun here. It'd be better to have one with more adjustments than high and low. So let's go ahead and get going. It's looking pretty good. Need a little more. Okay, now let's check it out. And you can see that my putty knife moves smoothly over those cracks as they've pretty much filled in. You got to be careful with the heat gun because you don't want to overheat and cause your HDPE to deform. But I think that's all there is to it, to repairing the most common issues that we'll encounter with kayaks. So, wasn't that hard, was it? Hope you like this tip. Take care.